All right, today we're gonna to show you how to remove this exhaust fan off this pellet stove, and then we can clean it, lubricate it, and reinstall it. All right, first you wanna make sure your stove is disconnected from the wall. After doing so, you can follow the two leads from the exhaust fan to the terminal where it gets power. Uh, we'll disconnect these, we'll label them, that way we can properly reconnect them later. All right, now that we have our wires properly labeled and disconnected, we're gonna move on by taking a quarter inch ratchet and 1132 socket. We're gonna move these six nuts that hold the exhaust fan in place. All right, now that you've got those six nuts removed, you can reach in, grab it by the motor, tip it towards you a little bit while just shaking it back and forth, and it should just slide out of there. Once you have it removed, we can work on cleaning it. All right, so we got our exhaust fan out and on the bench. So next we're gonna take a wire brush. We're gonna wire brush this wheel down, knock off all the soot. We just shot back to suck it up. Then we're gonna spray it down with our CRC graphite lube. That'll fill in any little rust spots, the pits, and make them smooth, that way the soot won't adhere to it again. All right, for this side, we'll take a dustpan broom or some kind of stiff bristled plastic brush. We'll knock down all the stuff that's blocking these ventilation holes to keep the motor cool. Once we've done that, we'll take our degreaser, spray it on a rag, and we'll wipe it down to get the heavier stuff off. All right, now that we've got the motor cleaned, we've got the blade sprayed down with our CRC graphite loop. You're gonna to wanna to lubricate the motor. For this, I recommend 3-in-1 oil. Works great for these small little motors. We're going to dribble a little bit here on the shaft while turning the blade. That way it'll work in there and it'll keep it quiet for the next heating season. All right, so next we're going to move on to the exhaust housing. We're going to take a wire brush, wire brush the hole inside down. We'll take a shot back, vacuum up all that stuff that we loosened up off it. Then we'll take our uh, degreaser, spray it onto a rag, we'll wipe it down. We'll take another rag that's dry and we'll dry it. That way we can spray it down with our CRC dry graphite lube. That'll fill in any little rust pits and make it a smooth surface for the exhaust to flow out nicely. It'll also stop the soot from adhering to the inside of the housing. All right, now with the exhaust fan all cleaned and lubricated, we can work on reinstalling. You wanna make sure the sticker is pointing towards you. Tip the fan motor towards yourself. It should just drop onto those six uh, bolts as so. All right, once you have the fan motor dropped back onto those six bolts, you can take those six 11 32nd nuts and we'll reinstall those with our fingers. And then we'll take our quarter inch ratchet and 1132 socket and we'll tighten them down. All right, now that we just tightened those six nuts down that hold our motor to our exhaust housing, we're gonna reconnect the two leads that give it power that we disconnected earlier. Once you've reconnected them, that's it, you're done. You've successfully just cleaned and lubricated your exhaust fan on your pellet stove. It'll keep it running smooth for the next heating season.